Hello guys, welcome. In this video, we will see how to deploy a virtual machine in Azure. So first, log into the Azure portal. So you have to register uh, to Azure to get this account. So if you already have an account, so go ahead and uh, sign in. So once you are in the portal, so you will be getting a page like this. So this is the Azure default portal and there are a lot of customization you can make here. So first thing we are going to create a resource group. So resource group is a logical separation of resources and you can create resources under here. So I'm going to create a new resources by hitting that add button. So you can write your uh, resource group name. So this is the name of the resource group. So I'm writing it as the cloud Ad training and the subscription I'm choosing pay as you go and you can choose the location so wherever is uh, near to your current location so i'm choosing south india and go ahead and create so it will do a validation so post to the validation we can create that resource group so it's uh, very quick and uh, our resource group has deployed and uh, once you go inside that resource group or uh, from the under the resource group menu you can see that resource group so you need to refresh some time uh, to get that resource or else uh, we can uh, keep on refreshing or else we'll go to the uh, filter page I mean the filter option write our name so you can see this cloud training has come so just hit there now we are into that resource group and I'm going to create a new resource group under this uh, I mean create a new resource under this resource group so we can see a lot of resource options available and we need to choose this compute option to create a virtual machine so go ahead and hit this virtual machine option and the first thing you need to choose the subscription and the resource group and after that so you need to write the name so I'm writing as a master 01 and uh, uh, the region is the location where you want to create your virtual machine so by default it has come as south india and availability option i'm not uh, changing and image you can choose any image so we have a list of operating system image available ubuntu centos uh, red hat suse windows etc choose the operating system so i'm choosing centos 7.7 .7. and we have an option like a spot instance so that it reduces a cost or virtual machine cost a lot but the problem is like whenever a resource uh, issue with Azure so it will decommission but for our testing purpose that is okay and we can choose the uh, size okay so since uh, we have some filter here so you need to uh, remove this filter to list all the VM option we can choose some uh, VM like uh, it's all based on number of virtual cores or vcpu and ram so you can change that virtual machine size and next is uh, the authentication type so we it support both key based and password based so we are choosing the key uh, password based so writing a username so that is a vm admin and use some uh, password so there are some policies that has to uh, in line uh, so like a num minimum number of upper and lower and special characters should be there in the password and uh, we have to mm, exclude some port in the firewall the next is uh, under disk you can choose the type of hard disk SSD standard and premium SSD and uh, standard hard disk standard hard disk is magnetic in nature so which will have relatively lesser cost encryption type i'm choosing everything default and if you need you can have a additional hard disk attached and the size also we can customize so by default it's a 1 tb so we don't want that much space so i'm just uh, taking only 16 gig okay adding that and then hit ok to continue so next we will go to the networking part so where we have a virtual network so by default it will create a virtual network if you already have a vnet you can choose that so by default it will create a vnet with the cloudera training iphone vnet and also it will create a subnet and a public ip so we have an option to disable that public ip and uh, the remaining things 
I am choosing as default okay and uh, next we can go to the management part and under management part the boot diagnostic uh, enabling so if you enable boot diagnostic so it will create a storage account so I'm just turning off everything okay so I don't want to uh, turn on uh, this boot diagnostic and all so I'm just uh, keeping it off then we go to the advanced part so where we have an option to run uh, uh, this extension and uh, cloud in it script so extension and cloud in it will do the certain uh, configuration I mean the post installation configuration so all these things I am keeping as default and going to next so next is a tag so tag is used to identify a resource so especially it will be useful when uh, we compare the billing so under uh, for this resource we have multiple resources are uh, going to deploy all those have uh, uh, this tag okay and uh, finally you have to add your details your mobile number and email and then create so it will take some time uh, to deploy that uh, virtual, virtual machine so a lot of other resources like a vnet a subnet uh, a public ip network interface hard disk all these things has to deploy and uh, also we will have a virtual machine so virtual machine need all these uh, components that is why it's all deploying those components so when you check uh, post to the completion okay so we can go to the resource from here go to resource and uh, you can see a virtual machine is running it's having a public ip this one so we can use this public ip to connect and uh, it got a private ip also you can see all the details like the tags uh, the subscription tenant i uh, then uh, status uh, all these details you can see from here okay and if you go to the resource group you can see all the resources i mean whatever the dependent resources which is deployed as part of this deployment you can uh, uh, along with the virtual machine you can see the other resources if you want to delete the entire resource group so all these things will be deleted so you can do that also i hope this is very clear thank you for watching this video we will see in the next video bye